this is working. This seems to be working. Since it's working. Alright. That's loading. Good. Good. We're going to put on a little bit of burial grid, like always. While I get the chat window set up. Ah. So today we are going to be drawing um, uh, Hector Holman uh, Osterheld, who is an Argentinian comic book writer uh, turned anti-fascist fighter. So if y'all don't know who he is, he, he wrote a great book called The Eternaut, um, which has uh, only recently been published in the United States. But let me get this chat room set up. Come on. More channel. Kind of wish I could have some of this stuff like set up beforehand. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is on the proper side of the screen where I can see it better. All right, y'all. Let's get inking. <laughs> So anyways, if uh, you're a fan of comic tropes, or if you're a fan of this channel and you've heard me mention comic tropes before, um, you know I'm a fan. And uh, this weekend's episode, he did an uh, episode on the Eternauts, which I highly recommend. Those of you want to know about the, uh, a little bit more about the series, gives a good overview of the series and an overview of Osterfeld's life. And I was like thinking, dude, I've only been arrested for my graphic novels. This dude was freaking murdered. That's gangsta. And there's the whitest thing I will say on this channel. <laughs> no, but straight up, um... I'm just like, well, that guy's fascinating. I, I want to I wanna know more about him. So, in case you're wondering, he was born in 1919. Um, so, this July, he'd be 100 years old. Um, he he uh, was disappeared in 1977. According to Wikipedia, that's when he died. However, um, somewhere I was reading that there was uh, uh, the last um, uh, sighting of him was in a prison in 1979. So he could have lived at least two years after he was disappeared. Um, the uh, um, Eternaut, or El, El Eternaut, um, is an Argentinian uh, like cultural landmark. And uh, I would love to know more about, like, what um, the Eternauts has become known, uh, uh, you know, what it's turned to symbolize in 
uh, Argentina, which I don't know off the top of my head. You know what? I'm going to go see if they have it on Wikipedia. But I have that skill. I can read Wikipedia while I draw. So according to Wikipedia, um, the book is an allegory of uh, the Cold War and class struggles. So, yeah. Got another thing I gotta read. Back us up. I'm actually going to save this one for later in the week, but uh, I didn't have the Dick Dale piece done, at least pencil-wise. I'm going to finish that up later. I'm actually a bit of a Dick Dale fan. Um, I am critical of him. Uh, I, I, I mean, like, like one of the things is like his, his entire, uh, he, he's written like, um, a bunch of great songs in the sixties, uh, including some good covers too, you know, uh, uh, but he, he tends to, um, be stuck in this mindset of just kind of like re-recording everything he did in the sixties. And some of the stuff, like, like his um, his albums in the early 90s uh, were really good. Um, I, I highly recommend them if you've not uh, ever listened to them. Uh, but it's just him rehashing what he had already done in the 60s. There's, you know, just better recording. The arrangement's a little bit different, a little more modern. Um, 
It even got to an absolute ridiculous level with the uh, new metal version of Mercilu he did in 98. Ugh. I have that on CD somewhere. I gotta dig that up and just re-listen to it. Just, just to <laughs> refresh myself or see if I can find it online. Um, oh, that was terrible. I mean, uh, the other thing too is like uh, Dick Dale. Basically, um, w w what I find fascinating is how country his his like really early stuff always was like like uh, you need to go back for this like um, in the in the early fifties as rock and roll's like defining itself. There's Dick Dale as a teenager playing um, the, the these uh, country tunes, which is not that dissimilar to his work as surf rock. So I was very sad to hear of his passing this weekend because uh, even though, like I said, you know, he, he, he kind of spent, you know, most of his life just covering himself. He really was a phenomenon, um, you know, taking, uh, you know, what he what he learned from country music and traditional folk music because um, his playing style was was based on the uh, uh, country style of playing the mandolin. You know, with, with all that double picking and triple picking. Basically, um, back in the uh, Renaissance era, um, yeah, during the Renaissance era, uh, when, when they invented the, the mandolin, uh, because the mandolin couldn't hold out the notes like the larger guitars, they uh, there's an Italian word for uh, that, that picking style that he does. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But anyways... I'll probably be repeating all this stuff uh, uh, after I actually even look up the information that, um, so I'll know it. When I draw Dick Dale in a couple of days or tomorrow or whenever I draw Dick Dale. I know um, this weekend I did one complicated picture, and I'm just going to stick to headshots pretty much for this week, uh, which means i got to come up with two more. Dick Dale's going to be a headshot. Oh, no, no, I want to draw his guitar. Shoot. Okay. Because I'm going to be spending most of my time at the public library and at, at the uh, indoor park. Uh, this week. Because our house reeks of cigarette smoke, and I am sick because of that. Oh, God. I am so mad about this.
back in the, uh, the 90s, um, right before they started banning, uh, all the, the, you know, all the smoking bans, I used to go out and, and in the morning, I'd feel this way, you know, go, I'd go to a club, uh, or I'd see like a, you know, band I like play or something, and, and <coughs> I'd wake up and I'd have like this cough and I'd have like this, this, this stuck head thing that I'm feeling right now. Ugh. But like, because my home was smoke free and this house is supposed to be smoke free. I, yeah, you hear that bitterness right there, um, I, I would recover as the, the day would go on, but because, um, it's just constant, this freaking constant smokestack. Alright, drop that. There we go. Let's add one more layer in here.
But there was no pushback. There was no intellectual curiosity in the interview. All right, let's back up. Verso. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Don't know what happened. They're better than those little pencils I did. All right. I always like to do this. Oh, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Funny how it all works together. All right, everybody. I got to bounce. I got like 15 million things to do. But thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that you checked out um, uh, the Eternauts. Um, I will uh, figure out what it is. Probably be doing Dick Dale tomorrow. Um, but until then, keep making art. And uh, what else besides keep making art? Man, do, do something creative today. I don't care what it is. Um, you'll catch me at the uh, Emily Willison Public Library if uh, anybody is in the area and wants to stop by and say, excuse me, say hi to me. Because uh, I got to get out of this house. All right, people.